All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to start working as a developer today. And I gotta be a little quiet because it is not night time and my kids are asleep, so shh. So everyone knows the job market's tight. I'm not gonna elaborate on that right now. Everyone gets it, we're all feeling it. And because of that, there's more and more stories every day of people that are applying to hundreds and hundreds of jobs without getting any responses or with like getting maybe a couple interviews and then getting either rejected to their face and told like you're not a good fit or just getting ghosted completely and never hearing back about the results of that particular interview. And I wanna to try to at least a little bit change the mindset of this approach because it's, it's not bad when the market is really good because developers are in very high demand. They're still in very high demand. It's just a different kind of developer is in high demand. The ones with experience particularly because they've all been laid off and they're all looking for work right now. So there's great candidates just like kind of pick up right off the top. So where does that leave entry level developers? Right here, talking to a camera in a dark room. <laughs> The problem with this particular method of searching for a job is that it's approaching the job search in a way that requires you to get permission to work for somebody else. So let's try just for a minute to shift that perspective just a little bit. So let's say you're learning to become a web developer like I am. You've been spending a while applying for jobs with no success and you're looking to get some kind of work on your resume, on your portfolio as soon as possible so that you can show actionable results. Now, I will warn you, this approach that I'm about to go through is not for people who are not interested in hustling, in actually hustling, not fake hustling, shooting out 100 cold uh, emails or cold LinkedIn applies every single day just by doing LinkedIn quick apply. This is for people who are interested in prospecting for work and executing on that work to get something on their portfolio. So with that disclaimer aside, let's look into exactly what you can do to start getting work today as a developer. So with this approach, instead of approaching the job market in a way that is permission full, we're going to approach work in a way that is permissionless. And that is by reaching out to business owners. So if you've been constantly asking permission to get a job as a developer and getting rejected over and over, stop and do this instead, even just for a couple of weeks. I guarantee if you approach this the right way, you will see good results. Here's what I want you to do right now. Okay, so after you're done listening to Chris Luno, go to Google and search for a local service in your area. Now this can be chiropractors, it can be dentists, it can be window cleaning companies, pressure washing companies, pool cleaning companies, you name it, veterinary offices. If you're familiar with a specific market, that might help specifically as well, because you'll know more about what that business needs to thrive in a given market. I just look at like some of the sites that are ranking really well. So like here we have university, you know, website seems decent. Um, I don't love this nav bar personally, the color's a little bit bland but it looks okay. Like the page flows reasonably well. This feels a little dated. I don't, I don't love this format here with all the bullets and the hours and whatnot. There could definitely be a refactor here, but this isn't what we're looking for because these guys are ranking really well. If they don't have an SEO agency working for them already, they have somebody internally that knows at least decently what they're doing. So what I want you to look for is instead, not like the bottom of the heap, like these guys are ranking really well, but they only have one review and it's bad. What I want you to do is look for people that are ranking like not so well. So I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh result is Wolf Chiropractic here. And they have 580 reviews, averaging 4.9 stars. That's a great review profile. This is a company that's doing really well. It makes no sense that they wouldn't be ranking really well. So let's check out their website. And the first thing that we can realize is that this site takes a while to load and it looks not great when you load it. Um, very like bland, feels very 90s-esque. Then I want you to go to the Chrome store and add this extension to your browser built with Technology Profiler. This is going to allow you to see what is going on a little bit under the hood on a given profile. So first glance on this particular profile, we can see this is built with WordPress. At least it's using a widget with WordPress and WordPress plugins. It's also using Contact Form 7, WP Cycle. These are all great indicators, PHP framework. These are all great indicators that this is built with WordPress. Now I'm not saying go learn WordPress for six months just so you can execute one contract, but listen to me, it doesn't take much to make this look better and to make it more SEO optimized. There is stuff that you could do here 
that would make a ton of sense that could be done with not a ton of manipulation. Like, again, look how slow this is loading. This is not great. They have massage therapists, like they have it listed all one by one. So if you wanna learn about a specific massage therapist, you have to load this extremely slow page. Bio coming soon for this guy. Um, there's just, there's stuff here that needs some refactoring. Bio coming soon again. Office tool, let's see how this looks. It's a bunch of pictures that are stretched out of their aspect ratio so they look all warped. So I know this, and to be honest with you, I you know, looked for this beforehand and found it for this particular uh, project, but this took me 10 minutes to find initially. This didn't take me a ton of time to find. And there's so many websites out there that are like this. So what I would do if I were you, and I was looking for work and looking for a way to get results on my portfolio as soon as possible is reach out to this company, send them a cold email, do some kind of a website audit for them and just send it cold to them. Tell them that you'd be willing to work below market value, you know, uh, make a couple thousand bucks potentially on a website refactor and just get this thing working. Get some SEO in here, figure out what's making it load so slow. There's probably, you know, these images are probably huge. Who knows? Reach out to them, figure out what's making the website load so slowly. Like, I don't know what exactly is, you know, making it work. Like this, this file size is 400, almost 500 kilobytes. That's not gigantic, but it doesn't need to be really over 300 for a full, even for a full bleed image on a website. So this could easily be 200 kilobytes max and it would still look great. Another thing you could do is copy the URL, go to gtmetrics.com right here, paste in that URL and hit test your site and just look at the score that it comes back with. So according to gtmetrics, you know, the site has a decent structure, the performance is terrible and the largest contentful paint is 4.8 seconds of load time. So gtmetrics is also going to give you what is going on exactly in the loading of that particular website. And we can see here, for example, the server response time is quite high and we might use a plugin like WP Rocket to reduce the server time this tool will give you a ton of clues as to what to actually do when it comes to optimizing your website or your client's website another thing that we can see here is what's loading and exactly how long it's taking so basically contact form 7 for example is taking a while to load 91 milliseconds and it's a 5 kilobyte load size here's a 9 kilobyte load size there's things that are coming through this server that are making it very heavy and very slow performing and here's the thing these things might seem kind of esoteric but these aren't exceptionally unique issues that we're looking at here these are things that you could easily figure out how to fix with a quick google search and a little bit of optimizing on the website so what you want to do is you want to find a website like this reach out to the owner figure out what your bottom line is essentially what you need to work for. And it should be, honestly, it should be quite low because if you're applying to jobs for free, you're not providing any value by applying to the job. So for the opportunity to provide value to a local business and have that on your portfolio, being able to do that is way more valuable than just applying to another 50 jobs cold. At least I think it is. So, I mean, a lot of people in the comments might say that this is either a waste of time or undervaluing your work. But I mean, let's be honest, dude, if you are applying for jobs and you're not getting any, there's no work to undervalue. So come in lower than market value on something like this. Do an excellent job or the best job that you possibly can for this company. Improve their performance, improve their speed site responsiveness, improve their SEO. You can learn a ton about just marketing in general from doing a job like this and improve their ranking so that you have tangible and numerically backed data to show proof of the work that you've done. So I hope that was helpful. I know not everybody's gonna like this approach. Not everyone's gonna wanna take it. In fact, a lot of people won't and that's exactly why you should because if nobody else is taking this approach or very few people are taking this approach, you're gonna be the one that stands out amongst other applicants. So go get it. Do a good job and good luck.